Hello, it's Bulldog Games here. I'm going to show you how to do a basic sprint system in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get into it. So first, obviously, you want to open up Unreal Engine 5. Uh, you would come to a screen with your recent projects on it. We're not talking about that at the moment. We're going into games and for whatever preference you want for now I'm going to do a third person and I'm going to show you how to do a sprint but I'm going to show you how to do a multiplayer sprinting system so you can implement this into your game with minimal coding required it's blueprint all the way and it's nice and easy so I'll bring you back once it's loaded right so first things first is when you open up your project you'll be open up into a third person template like this the first thing you want to do is go up to edit at the top go to product settings once your project settings opens you want to come down to inputs and you've got your action mappings here but you also want to create a action mapping here you want to create one and call it sprint and what you want to use whatever way whatever whatever key you want to use is fine I normally either use shift or caps lock so I'm gonna probably use shift in this one if I can find it uh, where is he where is he where is he where is he uh, so let's use caps lock right so you can literally just close off this it automatically saves the next thing you want to do is find your player so if you go into your character not your character sorry if you go into your third person blueprints you get your third person character now if you go to your viewport and you click on your character movement here yeah which is your component for your character movement you come up to the top and you type in max speed now your max walk speed is 500 centimeters a second um, we really want to bring that down so we want him to really walk so we're going to half it to 200 centimeters a second we're going to compile this we're going to save it and we're going to play and we can see oh hang on a minute we're going to go to third person and we're going to play now as you can see he's she's walking yeah yeah if we press cap socks that happens but she's walking we want to spin speed this up so how we're going to do this is we're going to go into the event graph and we're going to create that input so from your project settings what you named your your sprint here this is what you want to pull so you want to come into your third person character right click and type sprint and you get an action event now on pressed you want to sprint yeah so at this precise moment this is literally for a single player game um, this create two custom events and we're gonna name we're gonna name compile it we're gonna name one max or speed On server, we're going to copy this. So we've got to copy it again. Go down to here, onto this custom event, max speed, and then we want to call it multi. So this one, as you can tell, it's on server. So you want to replicate to server, and then this one, you want to replicate to multicast. Now the aims of these is literally the server when it runs on server it runs on the the own inside and then when it runs on multicast it runs on client side so we literally want to connect this custom event to this custom event so you pull out here and type in max walk speed multi are you with what I'm saying so you go max walk speed on server to max walk speed on multi right and then on the on on the walk speed multi what we need to do we need to get the character movement pull out of here and set the max walk speed so when we're setting this max walk speed when we're pressing the sprint we want to set this character movement speed to whatever we want so if we just put in 800 here this is going to set this to that to that 
so obviously on the input action sprint here we want to call this function here because this function is already calling this function so off pressed we want to get max walk speed on server now if we press compile save and play this will still work so when we press caps it will run yeah but when we release caps we want to set it back so this is where up here this is where up here yeah so we're pressing it and we're doing the max walk speed now when we release it we want to take it back so what we need to do we need to create another set of two custom events yeah so we need to just for to make the tutorial not so not so long we're going to literally just call this max speed no min speed yeah Hang on min speed on server we're going to run that on server and then yeah you guessed it custom event for min speed multi and then run that on your multicast server and again exactly what you've done up here you want to call this min speed multi and then you want to get your character movement yet again and we want to set max walk speed back to what you set your max walk speed in the view pool so whatever it was which was 250 I believe so yeah 250 Go back to the event graft and type in 250 here now off the unpressed we want to now get min oh not that we want to get min walk min speed sorry min speed on server make sure it's on server because you're already being called and you're going to click it back to here now if we press compile save and play when we kick caps lock it runs when we take caps lock off he stops caps lock he runs caps lock he stops right but when we run this on a listen server and we do two players and we press play let me just make this a bit smaller there's going to be a bit of a jitter it's going to jitter a bit and the reason for that is I'm going to show you in a moment but if we go on client and we run and we run like that it looks a little bit jittery as we run yeah it doesn't look that smooth press the windows run let's go back onto here and then if we run you can see him running but it just looks a little bit jittery yeah so for good preference what I like to do is to grab the character movement again control C and paste it over these so we're doing it on server and then we're also doing it off server yeah so we want to grab ah yep get we want to grab both of these both of these again we can get rid of that one because these are down together just pop him in there nice and snug snug as a bug in a rug and we can connect up compile save play so now it looks a little bit more smoothly as when I click one so as you look when I click one it looks a lot smoother yeah so it's, it's good common practice just to bang it on a normal right, on a normal and on the server as well so as you can tell you're both running around it's it's um, replicating fine so yeah on that bombshell this is Bulldog Games thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to help
uh, follow and subscribe for more don't forget the bell icon and we'll catch you later thank you bye